I wonder, have you ever had to do something really important? Well, this week's story is about a boy in the Bible who became king when he was just eight years old. His name was Josiah. I wonder what sort of things you would do if you became king or queen. Josiah's father, Amon, was an evil king who worshipped idols. Amon's own servants killed him and Josiah became king. Even though Josiah was very young when this happened, he knew the people were sinning and worshipping false gods. He wanted to do the right thing and keep God's laws. But there was one big problem. While Josiah's grandfather had been king, the scrolls with God's laws were destroyed and burnt. The people thought there were no copies left in the land. Without these scrolls, the people continued to worship false gods. Some years later, Josiah saw that the temple of God was in bad shape and decided to repair it. Everyone worked very hard to repair and clean the temple. One day, as Hilkiah the high priest was walking in the temple, he spotted a scroll. He picked it up and brought it to Shaphan, the royal assistant. I have found the book of law in the house of the Lord. This scroll was very special. It told all about the law of God. Some of the laws in the scroll were laws that the people had forgotten about. After Shaphan read the scroll, he took it to King Josiah. My Lord Josiah, the work at the temple is going really well. We've paid all of the workers and the supervisors. And oh, uh, Hilkiah the priest gave me this scroll that he found. Shaphan read the scroll to King Josiah. When the king heard the words of the book of the law, he tore his clothes and cried. He knew... These were God's words written down in this book, and Josiah knew that God was angry because the people had broken his laws. King Josiah told Hilkiah and four of his most important helpers to go and ask advice from the prophetess Hulda. As a prophetess, Hulda gave people special messages from God. Hulda's message was that the people had disobeyed God for a very long time, and they would have to be punished. God knew that the king loved his people, so the message from the prophetess was that the people would not be punished until after Josiah had died. Once King Josiah heard God's message, he went to the temple and spoke in front of all the people. He promised God that he would follow him and obey his commands. He promised that he would do what was written in God's word. Then all the people made the same promise. One of the things written in the scroll was about the Passover. The law of God said that the Jews should celebrate the Passover every year, but the people had not celebrated the Passover for many years. They had not obeyed God because they had not read his word. It is easy to disobey the Lord if we do not read his words. Josiah continued to remove all the evil priests and idols. He destroyed all the places where false gods had been worshipped. As long as Josiah was king, the people kept God's laws. Josiah was a very special king. He turned to God with all his heart, with all his soul and with all his might. No king was like him ever again. This young king worked hard to bring his people back to God. For the first eight years of his life, Josiah had watched his father and the people around him worship idols. It would have been easy for Josiah to do what everyone else was doing. But instead, young Josiah took a stand for God. If you have believed in Jesus as your saviour, you can take a stand for God too. Perhaps you think, my family will laugh at me if I read my Bible at home. Or, I can't talk about Jesus in school because the other kids will make fun of me. But if Jesus is your saviour, he can give you strength to live the way God wants you to, even when no one else is. If you have not yet believed in Jesus as your saviour, God does not want you to have to face the punishment for your sin. Jesus took the punishment for you when he died on the cross. Jesus rose again and is alive today. Will you believe in him now and ask him to be your saviour? Thanks for joining this week's episode of Kids Corner. Make sure you come back again next week for another episode. In the meantime, have a look at our Facebook page and our YouTube channel for more videos. See you later.